Fort Harrison is partaking in an active shooter exercise. The exercise is designed to assess the readiness, procedures, and protocols involved in responding to and recovering from an incident such as an active shooter. The exercise took around four months of planning and coordination to have everything finalized for the day of the exercise. We got participation from everyone on, on post, so all of the Montana Army National Guard, the Montana Air National Guard, Department of Defense civilians and contractors, and then also a response from uh, all of our partnering agencies, all of our first responders. St. Peter's Health participated as one of the first responders, and the Red Cross was on hand to showcase recovery services. Fort Harrison holds this exercise annually, and coordinator Eric Hubner says that it's something that needs to happen often to keep protocols fresh. It's something we need to be, that we do regularly, and we need to continue doing regularly so that we keep, keep that awareness for everyone on post. And then, of course, there's always new employees coming in, so make sure that, that new employees are trained up as they come in. And while the training is focused on a possible event at the fort, Hubner says that the training doesn't end here. Working in an office building, working our nine to five, eight to five jobs, we, we are preparing the same way everybody else is for potential terrorist threats, something like an active shooter, just because that's what we're all seeing in the media, seen on the news as, as one of the big issues facing everyone these days. Reporting in Fort Harrison, Ryan Berg, MTN News.